show that you can pay back your mortgage. And that requires documentation. Fundamentally, you have to be able to prove that you have the money you say you have and you make the money you say you make. The mortgage industry has very specific ways of determining if you can pay the loan back. And the more documentation your loan officer has up front, the smoother your transaction will go. You need to give your lender enough documentation in order for them to calculate your income and prove you have enough money to pay the down payment, closing costs, and cover any reserve requirements of the loan. The documentation for your loan will be specific to your situation. But here are some guidelines, some guiding principles for what to collect. You will need to provide documentation about your employment, including your most recent pay stubs, covering a 30-day period for all current jobs, W-2s for the past two years for all salaried or hourly income received, past two years tax returns if you claimed income from any other source, be it investment property, self-employment business, your past two years business returns for any company that you have more than a 10% ownership in. The more you tell your loan officer about the details of your employment, the better. Okay, now moving on to assets. You'll need to give your loan officer your most recent two months checking savings accounts, all pages, all accounts, your most recent investment account statements. And if you have a 401k, you'll likely need to send the terms of withdrawal for the account, even if you have no intentions of using the money to buy your house. When using online banking to gather your bank statements, be sure to download your bank statements and not a snapshot of the account summary. When looking at an account summary, there is no way to really know if it's your money or even a real account. For example, a bank statement will look something like this. It's got your name, your bank name, your account number, the date range for the statement. Now there's also the matter of gifts. If a family member is giving you money to help with the down payment, Go ahead and list it as gift funds on your application, but hold off on receiving the money until you are ready to purchase your home. Once you find a house, you'll do the following. You'll strategize with your loan officer about the best way to move money around. You'll get a gift letter from your loan officer to be signed by you and the family member giving you the money. And then you'll do what you said when you strategized moving the money around. It's important that you actually follow that exactly. Then there's the matter of a previous divorce. If you've recently been divorced, then please also include the complete copy of the divorce decree. I get it, you are so over it, but we really need the whole darn thing. And guess what? The fun doesn't stop at pre-approval. As soon as your offer is accepted on a house, you will likely need to send updated versions of all the same documents and more. But you've already set the groundwork. So the second time, it'll be a breeze. It can feel overwhelming, but it's totally doable. In all of time, no one has ever died from over-documentation. Be fast, be precise, and eventually the mortgage gods will be appeased and in turn entrust you with several hundreds of thousands of dollars and a house to live in. In the end, it's totally a win-win.